Well, if you've been in the industry for any number of years, you've no doubt heard of the brand name Tucker Pole or the Tucker Pole system. Yes, long before the explosion of pure water window cleaning here in North America, there were the pioneers of the Tucker Pole systems. They were basically the first guys to really be doing a lot of uh, high access uh, window cleaning using a pole system that they could safely clean from the ground. Well, I've never actually had any personal experience using a Tucker pole. In fact, I don't even think I've seen one in person. But I've recently had a great chance to play around with some Tucker brushes. Mainly the reason is not that I'm selling Tucker poles, but because I sell pure water window cleaning poles. And many of them, of course, have the what you guys will know as the Euro thread. Here's an example of a Euro thread. This is just on the end of a Unger High Flow Angle Adapter. And here is a Tucker brush. Now normally Tucker brushes on Tucker poles don't get installed this way, but we have this adapter at the end of the headstock, which you can just screw in any, like I said, any Euro thread. There you go. Nice and tight. There we go. We're off to the races. This can go on top of any of your water-fed poles out there that have a Euro thread now. And the Tucker brush that's being released in this form comes in three varieties. What we have here is a four jet variety. And out of the four jet, uh, there's two types. There is the one that has four pencil jets. There's one that has two pencil jets on the outside and two fan jets on the inside. And then there's a, a slightly less expensive brush that has just the jets in the middle, just two pencil jets. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, different jet types, let's just say that uh, a simple round hole creates a uh, pencil jet, so the water will stream out like a steady, you know, shoot out like a beam of water, steady stream like that. As opposed to a fan jet, which is a, a hole with a slit in it, which forces the water when it's coming out to go into a fan pattern. So if you can imagine, you know, trying to rinse with a pencil jet, you've got two streams of water out like that, as opposed to a fan jet, which splays the water out more like that. Some people prefer the fan jets. They feel they get a better rinse, especially on hydrophobic glass. Others uh, still like to stick with the pencil jet because they feel they have more control of where the water goes after it hits the glass, or while they're doing the rinse, they don't want to splash other windows or other parts of the window that could bring spots in. It's really a matter of personal preference. I I learned on pencil jets, um, so you know I've got that dialed down. Other people like the fan jets. But anyway, enough about fan jets or pencil jets. Let's talk about the bristles in the Tucker brush. So in the headstock, you have what they call the dual trim brush. Many of you heard of a dual trim. Many may even have a dual trim brush from some other manufacturer. What a dual trim simply means is that the bristles have been trimmed to two different lengths. And usually, well, pretty much the standard is to have the longer bristles on the outside. That's good for when you're getting into the corners. It, it, you know, as you're pressing on the glass, it makes it easy for these bristles just on the outside to splay into the corners. So you can be sure you're getting a, a proper scrub within all four corners of the glass. And then you've got these, this lower pile, same type of, same fiber makeup. That's just that they're shorter and there's a lot more of them in the center. So they're, it's more dense. It's actually, it's got more of a, a push to it. Less give, if you will. Which is ideal for, especially when you're dealing uh, with glass that, that has, you know, like maybe bird droppings or something on it. You push a little bit harder, you've got those shorter, denser bristles, you know, putting a little bit more pressure in that area to do a proper cleaning. So, you know, the only other thing I can really talk about this brush is that, you know, it seems like it's really nice quality the way it's made. The bristles, you know, just playing around with the bristles, they really hold their shape quite well just playing with them. But of course, what do we really need to do with the brush? We've got to put on the glass and see how it performs. So now we're going to go take a look at that. Okay, so as I scrub across the top edge of the glass, I'm noticing that there's not a heck of a lot of drag at all. Um, it's going across the glass rather nicely. Even here, um, putting a lot of pressure on there, getting the outer bristles to splay out, and I can really feel that the center bristles are making good contact with the glass, giving it a good scrub. And again, like I said, not a whole heck of a lot of drag. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, feel pretty confident 
uh, this brush is giving uh, this glass a good clean. Now the only thing that I did notice is that, and you'll probably see here if you take a close look up, uh, when I rinse, the, when I lift the brush and I start rinsing over the glass, I'm noticing that the outer jets don't splay out or shoot out as far as the center jets. And I take that pretty much that because the center bristles are straight, the outer bristles are more on an angle that is partially obstructing the jet holes, but overall not a big deal. Still getting lots of water on this glass. Okay, so there you have it. Everything you wanted to know about the Tucker brush with two jet configuration, four pencil jet configuration, or combo two pencil, two fan jet combination. And lastly, with the Euro thread adapter so that you can use this on your non-tucker pole whether it be a Rechick, Gardner, Unger, you name it. Tucker's got you covered. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.